how has that been having to adapt so much? Man, it's been, you know, a lot of changes. Like I said, I've just had to be be open to everything, you know, be a sponge when it comes to learning. And that's how I've, you know, I've, how, I've, how I've, I've succeeded playing, you know, basketball, then the football and then two positions in football. You know, I've just learned, learned from a lot of guys, you know, trying to trying to be a sponge, like I said, and just take everything in. George Bremer. Jake, what was today like waiting to hear your name being called? And, and when did the fact that you might be a draft pick become a reality for you? Yeah, you know, uh, leading up to the draft, you know, after the pro day, we we started to get a lot of attention. Um, and, and after that, you know, it was all speculation towards the end of the draft. And, you know, as the rounds were going on, you know, um, yeah, obviously things were happening. But, you know, the Colts, you guys took the chance on me, and I'm super excited for it. James Boyd. Yeah, from what I understand, I believe you took a year off from playing, you know, football or competitive sports. Can you explain just, or I guess in detail, what pushed you back towards the game? And um, I'd imagine you think that decision might have paid off a little bit here. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, originally I, I transferred from Michigan Tech, so I transferred to Northern Michigan. And I was just, you know, just there for my studies for that first semester. Uh, I walked onto the team that spring of 2020. And, um, you know, I had a co good people in my corner that got me back into it. And, you know, it was all, all about dedication at that point. I had a full year of, of COVID um, so that just allowed me to practice, sharpen up my game, you know, coming from the high school eight-man level to the college 11-man. So, you know, that full COVID year was great. And uh, now we're here. All right. We'll go a couple more here. Nate Atkins. Hey, Jake, congratulations. I'm just wondering that uh, after what you just saw about after – sitting a year out coming back kind of late uh was the nfl ever on your radar did you did you think that this was something out there for you is it is your eyes kind of surprised you at all yeah you know i knew i would test well i knew it was going to be very athletic you know in the sport of football when i originally went out you know i got a couple of years of film under my belt and uh, i started to get the attention of a couple teams at the league and you know that that's what really started to kind of domino effect it for me i got that they had attention from a couple teams and then you know, I started looking at some some agents, and you know, we we got to work in the spring, and the rest is history. All right, Jake Arthur. Uh, it seems like you've really kind of started to pop, especially since this this really nice workout. Uh, what's your communication with the Colts been like throughout the pre-draft process? Yeah, you know, the Colts were one of the first first teams that actually reached out to me. Um, you know, well before the pro day, and. You know, we had good conversations, good interviews with them. Uh, you know, they, obviously at the pro day, we had, we had interviews then. You know, I had a private workout with the Colts a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, it's just been great. You know, it's been, as the process has unfolded, you know, the Colts have continued to be there as a team that was, you know, backing me and, and uh, wanting me, you know, part of that program the entire time. So just super excited, you know, to be, be in Indianapolis and be with a program that, you know, has, has shown that love and support for me since the start. And the last one here, James Bull. Jay, can you uh, take us through today? Like, did you plan on watching the draft? Did you just, hey, I'm going to go get my head clear and whatever happens if I get a call? Like, can you give us behind the scenes of, of getting the call, maybe just leading up to, you know, getting that 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 uh that biggest call of your life, I would imagine? Yeah, no, biggest call of life for sure. I mean, that's a good way to put it. And I was just here hanging out with family. You know, we're watching the family and friends watching the draft. And, you know, we're kind of looking at the the tackles that are being taken and, um, you know, the teams that I had uh, corresponded with previously and watching the draft unfold, started receiving a lot of calls in the, you know, sixth and the early seventh round, um, you know, time frame. And, you know, things worked out here and I'm, I couldn't be happier, couldn't be in, in a better place. So. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jake, for taking your time. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, we're, gonna, we're looking forward to getting you in here on Thursday. Absolutely. I'm super excited. You know, thanks for thanks for taking the time and you know kind of telling a bit of my story here. Absolutely. Appreciate you, Jake. Congrats, Jake. Yeah. Thanks, Jake.